What animal does this skull belong to? Let's find out. Here are five more mammal skulls in the U.S. that everyone should know. Horse skulls look similar to cow or deer skulls, but there are some key differences. First, they have incisors on their upper jaw, unlike cows or deer. Second, their lower jaw is way bigger and rounder. And third, they have a large hole halfway between the eye socket and the nose. Porcupine skulls are pretty easy to ID. They have a massive hole below each eye. It almost looks like a second pair of eye sockets. They're also pretty big. Porcupines are the second largest rodents in the country after beavers. Weasels, including fishers, otters, martens, bats, Badgers and wolverines have skulls that kind of look like raccoon or bear skulls if you don't have a size reference. Many weasels have a long, pill-shaped skull, especially the brain case. They have four to five teeth behind each canine tooth on the upper jaw, unlike raccoons, which have six. If there's no size reference, you can tell them from bear skulls because they don't have those two tiny little teeth behind the canine. Skunk skulls look a lot like weasel skulls. Some main differences are that skunks have a sharp angle right above the nose, and they don't usually have any spines behind their eye socket or on their cheekbone. This makes their skulls look kind of smooth, if that makes sense. Squirrels include tree squirrels, chipmunks, ground squirrels, prairie dogs, and marmots like woodchucks or groundhogs. You can tell squirrel skulls from most other rodents by their size. They're bigger than mice, but smaller than beavers or porcupines. The easiest way to ID squirrel skulls is from the top. You can tell them from muskrats or gophers by their wide forehead and the big spine behind each eye socket. Now back to our mystery skull. It's got canine teeth, so not a horse or rodent. How many teeth behind the canine? One, two, three, four. So it's either a weasel or a skunk. There's no spine behind the eye or on the cheekbone. And you can see a sharp angle right above the nose. So this must be a skunk. I'm a skunk, I'm a skunk, I'm a stinky stripey skunk. I don't know, sorry. So what animal and nature stuff do you want to see next? Follow my channel and let me know in the comments.